Welcome back to Gender Discourse and a discussion on consensual rape, sorry, consensual sex versus rape. In March this year, a parliamentary committee has endorsed the government's decision not to treat marital rape as a sexual offence in the recently promulgated anti-rape law. The reasons? It would destroy the institution of marriage, a woman could fabricate charges, also aggrieved wives have other means like recourse to laws against cruelty to women. The panel received as many as 90 suggestions from individuals, women's bodies and states and union territories. Incidentally, only five states and union territories, that is Gujarat, Mizoram, Lakshadweep, Puducherry, and Dadra and Nagar Haveli gave their views. The rest were silent. So Khadija ji, this is something that you had taken up. See, uh, my uh, opinion is very, very strongly <laughs> against the whole provision which, has, which is there in the law. Mm -hmm. Rape should be rape. If my father does a rape and it's considered as a rape, why if my why my husband from where he get that kind of sanctity to violate my body integrity of my body without my consent so i strongly feel that this has been a patriarchal mindset of this state which has gone into it and not only patriarchal very controversial i'll say patriarchal hindu mindset yeah. i'm very clearly saying because it's, see it might be in hindu marriage it's a sacrosanct marriage but for Muslims, it's not a sacrosanct thing. It's a contract, contract of will. Yeah, but if do you think there should be a law regarding marital rape? See, it has it's to. It, it should not. Yeah. There has to be. See, it there should no. Should not be an exemption. Hmm. Don't write an exempted that husbands are exempted to rape. Yeah. No. Yeah. If the wife has a evidence and a proof that it has been a sexual abuse, she should have a, a open uh, recourse hmm. in the law. See, like if they people they took this. Um, curtain of uh, the hidden under the curtain of domestic violence act domestic violence act says if, if my husband sexually abuses me i can take a protection okay protection order if i take a protection order today and if tomorrow my husband does the same thing then i can go to uh, the court uh, the law uh, under 376 because the 376 has a clause that if a wife is under protection or she's under separation under certain law then she has a uh, right that husband should not violate. I'll right. just explain to you. I, okay. I'll just explain no, you. You said it already exists. Yes, see, explain our that. rape law, mm -hmm. our rape law, there is a one four four a all over the world. No country have. So rape law is very heinous crime. In a marriage, there is a cons conjugal rights under six also under nine. Conjugal rights so doesn't want what, right to what law says conjugal rights under section nine? Right, conjugal rights only just for me. Hindus. So what not law says? All, please all explain. Yeah. Law says if you are in such a abuse, mm -hmm. we give a preventive action, mm -hmm. warning both party, don't do it. Mm -hmm. You get separate. Then if second time though already rape is there, so domestic violence act already covered these things, 498 already covered, what we given the proposal. Like all over the world, you first make rape law gender neutral. If woman does not do the rape to the man as per definition of your rape, why you apply it to accept the gender neutrality? So then the problem is not there. Otherwise, what will happen? Any divorce, because you both are staying together. You are in a marriage institution. You are supposed to have the physical relation. Any physical relationship can be converted to the rape. So there is a safeguard. But the saying that if a man does something to the woman without consent, no law is wrong. Opposite is right. If a woman rape the man, abuse the man, his mother, sister, he cannot take any protections. In a crime, uh, in a crime, no, 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 I have Kusum, I would like your point to be on this. I know, please. Uh, the uh, yes. point. The thing is, from where the law origins? Yes. It is. It origins from the common sense. What is the law of the land? It it is has not come from the heaven. Wh whatever is uh, pre prevailing in the country, whatever is, is prevailing in the society, from there the law origins. So, why we are taking marriage such a sac sacrosanct uh, uh, institution to be in such a uh, in a filth? 
You see, no, no, this no, is no, not about no, taking no, into no, 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 no. Please, it's about please, yes, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You see, at least the consent, the meaning of the consent is that when both the parties, when the both male and female, they are with uh, in the concern is uh, that they want to have uh, cohabitate. Yes. Uh, the yes. This, this is the what word I will use to cohabitate, and this is the main consideration of the marriage. That's you right. see. Now but comes the compatibility. Yes, when you see, husband. Starts. Let's hear out. Now, when the husband and mm. wife, they are. Uh, if suppose wife is not uh, agree, so that compatibility should be there. That rationality should be there, so that the uh, the yes, women should let's not be abused. So let's let's hear out. Are we Mita, talking come about on, over yes. here? We have Your to. Point. We cannot forget that historically we are coming from a patriarchal uh, society. We cannot so forget. We, run we away cannot from forget. Our, we cannot forget huh, that yes. we are coming from a hugely sexually repressed culture. We do not have the language to discuss these things. Which daughter is going to go up to a father and talk about it? Which daughter can? I have come across countless I women. One minute, please give me an opportunity. Yes. I have come across countless girls and women, and I've been working in colleges across, who do not have a conversation, who cannot talk about any sexual violation that they're experiencing. And let me tell you, this family that you're talking about, whether it is a marriage that you're talking about or family that you that is the biggest cauldron of it. sexual abuse, Abusers, yes. so which has been proved no, statistically. No, 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 we can be in denial handful. about it. We can be in denial about it and be like an ostrich. What we like marriages we be No, 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 I don't think she's saying that. Not at all, not at all. Smita, just one second, Khadija. What I want to say is, isn't safeguarding a woman's rights more important than keeping the so-called sanctity of yes. marriage? Yes, absolutely. This is what that, I'm going to throw open to all of you. Right. Khadija, See, yes. My thing is, my consideration is that marriage, yes. important. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I'm also living in a married life yes. for many, many years. Yes. But right of an individual Indian citizen female in the marriage also has to be protected very nicely by the state. It's the responsibility then, of the state. It, but the marriage... Law will not do anything. It is see, the consciousness of each and you, every citizen nobody, who nobody should become law-abiding law citizen. Law. They see, should I'll become law-abiding citizen. They you, should give respect I'll to tell you one, one thing, ma'am. There are so many laws, as he says, there's so many laws. But a simple helpline started by Chief Minister's <laughs> office received around 3.5 lakhs cases in five months. Why, why these, line, see, why? Our personal helpline gets every day see, 60 calls see, I'll tell for you, the main you problem. Get, you get 60 calls, I get 2,000 calls. Per day is an unfunded, no per advertisement, per nothing. You get 60 calls, I get 2,000 calls. And 2, you please call. understand, so who's male more? does not call. Male, male mother, sister, they are calling us. See, I'll tell you one so thing. So it is it's not, not a, a gender I'm issue. Telling you, I'm it telling is an issue so of the harmony, just keeping the harmony in the society. Let but me, you know, we were discussing it's social norms. See, laws have saying. to protect I'm women you, I'm because you one thing. ours is a patriarchal society like you accepted yourself. Who has to obey the laws? We. We yeah. have my, a my mindset. We have See, a certain mindset. This is not men versus women. Yes, what she's saying this is the this right. This is not about men versus women. This yes. is about we equality. Say, it's about partnership. One minute. Woman, woman, make one, it minute. Person. one second, one minute. Yes, one second. <laughs> Let's just. This is exposed. This is, this is this is really about men and women. This is really about violation of dignity and rights. This is really about the uh, what is sexual assault? What is rape? Rape is degradation or humiliation or abuse of a sexual nature from one person to another right it's extreme humiliation yeah. extreme humiliation it's power game it's it's not about sex alone okay it's just taking so away so the life, so uh, uh, right to liberty uh, right to live right to live. article 21 is like yes. so absolutely taking away the liberty absolutely. To live. Yes. absolutely okay now i want to come to live in relationships so can um, uh, sexual offenses be recognized in such a scenario and despite the absence of a law recognizing live-in arrangements today in India. So, Khadija, I'd like you See, to comment like on I that. See, like I receive um, I, at my helpline and earlier also, mm -hmm. I've met so many live-in couples, mm -hmm. so many live-in couples. Yes. That's my increasing today in, in and society. Increasing yeah. And it was, see, if we keep, keep denying, we can keep denying forever yeah. and remain this, this perverted society. If we want to, we choose to, we can remain that way. But let's accept it. Like, at least I have accepted it very full-heartedly that our culture had always had live-in relationship provisions. It has always had. 
Indian culture has always had a provision of having live-in relationship. Every culture was today, about today, today, when young men and women opt for living relationship, I because I'm on a national media, I want to say it, this to my young women friends also that when you enter into a live-in relationship, if I take a car to drive, I learn to drive, hmm. and I learn the traffic rules that how I have to drive. I learn to safeguard myself. So when you enter into a live-in relationship learn to safeguard yourself protect yourself first and then enter into this men's world because it's, a, it's all out man's world out there Orto ke liye, there's no space if you get into a relationship very passionately it's a personal relationship all promises are behind a curtain behind the walls there's no evidences no proof of my having sex with you no evidences of you holding my hands and saying that we'll live forever till the world lives we will live together Nobody, no evidence. I can't prove in the court of law. So, for women, they should tread with very care when they walk right. into a live-in relationship. But live-in relationship is a reality and we have to accept it. Otherwise, if we don't accept and, it, there will be a lot of, of other problems. Call of the day is to actually create responsible sexuality education yes. over here. It's about creating a culture in which men and women, girls and boys, understand what they're getting oh. into. Right. You know? yes. See, the, pan, uh, the parliamentary panel that I was talking about was silent on rape in live-in relationships. The reason being that even though the Supreme Court has, in several judgments since 2010, ruled long-term live-in relationships as legal yes. and on par with marriage, the government is yet to enact a law recognizing live-ins and outlining the rights of live-in partners. Now, this includes the rights of gay, transgender, transsexual and homosexual men in marriages or live-in relationships. This was obs an observation made by the Justice Verma Committee. However, Parliament has recognized that mega cities are unsafe for women and a parliamentary panel has noted that Delhi accounts for among the highest rates of crimes against women at 13.3% followed by Bangalore, Hyderabad and Vijaywada. According to the National Crime Records Bureau, 24,206 rape cases were registered in India in 2011 but only 5,724 people were convicted of the crime. Yes. About the strategy, I have to explain. Mm -hmm. See, as ma'am says, living is from since culture. See, if you go back thousand years back, every culture, right. not Indian culture, marriage was not there. Mm -hmm. So society pupils decide there should be type a control and dignity in the society. So only marriage system can. Now again, so some so countries go back to the without marriage, like staying because. There is so many laws. See, nobody is going in a living because the divorce, if the relationship does not work, to getting a divorce is so much difficult. So pupils are not taking back dicks to go to the marriage. So go back to the 2000 years before. Okay, without marriage also we can stay like 2000 years before, say. About the statistics. See now, 2008. So I do not no, understand. I, 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 I know. I think yes. this, this is, is a very contentious, is contentious issue. I mean, we'll I would say the question we'll that we are addressing over here. Is we will be back after this very short break. I'm sorry, our commercial breaks are important. We'll be back soon. Yes, we'll be back after this break.